Argentina's former president Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner is to go on trial for corruption. A federal court has ruled she is accused of accepting millions of dollars in bribes over a 12-year period in what has become known as the corruption notebooks scandal. Ms. Fernandez, who is now a senator, denies any wrongdoing and claims the charges are politically motivated. She has immunity from imprisonment, but not prosecution. Three of her homes were raided in August as part of the criminal investigation. Ms. Fernandez, 65, is accused of being at the center of a massive corruption racket that allegedly saw millions of dollars in bribes paid by businessmen to government officials. The allegations stem from a batch of records kept by Oscar Chantano, a driver for a public works official, between 2005 and 2015. In the notebooks, Mr. Chantano writes about delivering bags of cash from construction, bosses to government officials, which prosecutors say totaled some $160 m. 125 meter. Mr. Santano's notebooks include a reference to money exchanging hands at a home shared by Ms. Fernandez and her late husband, and the store Kirkner, as well as the presidential residence and government headquarters. However, none of this has been proved. More than a dozen people, including businessmen and former government officials, were arrested after the notebooks were handed to authorities by law, Nature oh. and newspaper earlier this year. They are also due to stand trial. Ms. Fernandez served as president for two consecutive terms, from 2007 to 2015. Having succeeded her husband, who was president from 2003 to 2007, he died in 2010. A poacher has been ordered to watch the Disney film Bambi repeatedly after he was convicted of illegally killing hundreds of the Missouri hunter David Barry. Chia must view the film at least once a month during his year-long sentence. He was arrested in August along with two family members for killing the deer taking their heads and leaving their bodies to rot. Prosecutors said, it is reportedly one of the biggest poaching cases in Missouri history. On top of the jail sentence, of the illegal deer hunting, Judge Robert George ordered Barry Jenner to view the Walt Disney movie Bambi, with the first viewing being on or before December 23rd, 2018, and at least one such viewing each month thereafter. During his spell in prison, the 1942 cartoon about woodland creatures shows a hunt to kill the mother of eponymous deer character Bambi. A months-long investigation, spanning several states, led to the arrest of Barry Jr., his father David Barry, Sr., and his brother Kyle Barry. According to a local newspaper, the Springfield News Leader, while the total number of deer taken illegally is unknown. Lawrence County's conservation agent Tandy Bonds said it could be several hundred. Barry Jenner received a year-long sentence in Lawrence County prison after pleading guilt to illegally taking wildlife. He has also been sentenced to a one to zero day term in Barton County prison for a firearms probation violation and both he and his father had their hunting privileges revoked for life by the Missouri Conservation Commission. The United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group Al-Shabaab being six airstrikes in Somalia. Four airstrikes on Saturday killed 32 militants, and a further two on Sunday killed 28, it said in a statement. This were the deadliest tear attacks in Somalia since November 2017, when the United States said it had killed 100 militants. Somalia has seen a sharp increase in the number of airstrikes, and 
casualties since President Donald Trump took office in the United States. In January 2017, a tally by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism reveals that at least 400 people have been killed in airstrikes since the beginning of 2017, far more than the previous 10 years combined. The latest strikes bring to at least 40 the number carried out in Somalia so far this year, compared with 35 recorded in 2017. The United States has a huge military base in neighboring Djibouti, from where it launches attacks on the militants. Mr. Trump gave the United States military greater authority in March 2017 to attack militants in Somalia. Traditionally, United States presidents have been wary of intervening in Somalia since 18 special forces soldiers died fighting militias in the capital Mogadishu in 1993. A battle dramatized in the film Black Hawk Down. No civilians were killed in the latest air strikes, which were carried out in coordination with the Somali government. The United States military said, alongside our Somali and international partners, we are committed to preventing Al Shabaab from taking advantage of safe havens from which they can build capacity and attack the people of Somalia. The United States Africa Command said, Al Shabaab, which is linked to Al Qaeda, has not yet commented on the latest strikes. Somalia based security think tank the Higher Al Institute said in a report published in November that Al Shabaab had been forced to change tactics following the upsurge in air strikes. The institute said the group was now conducting fewer mass attacks on military bases, but attacks on government offices and businesses which refused to pay. It taxes had increased markedly. The United States State Department, in its most recent report on terrorism, described Somalia as a terrorist safe haven, and said Al Shabaab remained a threat, despite suffering setbacks. The group retained control over large parts of the country and the ability to carry out high-profile attacks using suicide bombers, explosive devices, mortars, and small arms. The report added, a poacher has been ordered to watch the Disney film Bambi repeatedly after he was convicted of illegally killing hundreds of the Missouri hunter David Barry. Must view the film at least once a month during his year-long sentence. He was arrested in August along with two family members for killing the deer, taking their heads and leaving their bodies to rot. Prosecutors said it is reportedly one of the biggest poaching cases in Missouri history. On top of the jail sentence for the illegal deer hunting, Judge Robert George ordered Barry Chandler to view the Walt Disney movie Bambi, with the first viewing being on or before December 23, 2018, and at least one such viewing each month thereafter. During his spell in prison, the 1942 cartoon about woodland creatures shows a hunt to kill the mother of eponymous deer character Bambi. The months-long investigation, spanning several states, led to the arrest of Barry Jayla, his father David Barry, Sr., and his brother Kyle Barry. According to a local newspaper, the Springfield News Leader, while the total number of deer taken illegally is unknown, Lawrence County's conservation agent Andy Bonds said it could be several hundred. Barry Jayla received a year-long sentence in Lawrence County Prison after pleading guilt to illegally taking wildlife. He has also been sentenced to a 1-0 day term in Barton County Prison, for a firearms probation violation, and both he and his father had their hunting privileges revoked for life by the Missouri Conservation Commission. The United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist. Group Al Shabaab being six airstrikes in Somalia. 
fire strikes on Saturday killed 32 militants under further tour on Sunday, Q28. It said in a statement, this were the deadliest tear attacks in Somalia since November 2017, when the United States said it had killed 100 militants. Somalia has seen a sharp increase in the number of air strikes and casualties since President Donald Trump took office in the United States in January 2017. A tally by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism reveals that at least 400 people have been killed in air strikes since the beginning of 2017, far more than the previous 10 years combined. The latest strikes bring to at least 40 the number carried out in Somalia so far this year, compared with 35 recorded in 2017.